Well, are we podcasting? Are we podcasting? Are we podcasting? Is my microphone on? Can I just say right now, we're so excited and feel saved. It might. Because Casey is back with us. Casey's back to help with the podcast. And she's like, and bitches, don't ask me for anything else. Casey, I also don't trust those headphones, so I can go get you another pair that we can see if it's maybe that. Are we podcasting? I think we're podcasting. This is a behind the scenes podcast, it feels like almost. You know what it is? Really seeing how the sausage gets made. Speaking of sausage. (laughs) How the sausage gets made, but that's all that happens with it. (laughs) Nothing else. It gets made and then it just sits there. Yeah. It sits there wanting. In a deli case. Uh, untouched, unloved, and unwanted. Addison sent me today. Good Shout God, you out go from Addison. sausage to oh, Addison. No. I got to show you this hilarious picture he sent me that was, you know, oh, we're yeah. obsessed with Timu. These, um, like, foam inserts they that were guys a can giant put in their, the wiener. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. I thought the butt pad shorts. Oh, God. Yeah, those I got to order those. You've done two of the most... Literally controversial posts I've ever seen. One, Timu, which is evidently some weird cheap place for clothing and stuff uh, that had shorts with pads in it. Everybody commented on that. And then your second one about weird, like stupid market level marketing, mid level marketing math on 2023. You've sent the world on fire. They were like, this isn't accurate. It was like, if your birthday oh this my is God. the only day that your birthday in this day and whatever adds up to t- 2023. Listen, and the world lit fire. They were like, no, it doesn't. We'll post it. We'll post what it is. And uh, no, spoiler alert. Well, we'll post it on the podcast if you haven't yeah. seen it. But spoiler alert, uh, after somebody messaged us and broke it down for me, it's like, okay, if you take the year you were born plus how old you are, it will equal the current year. I don't know why it felt like, but it doesn't you were work like if you haven't had your, your birthday yet. Because they explain it kind of weird. You were and dipping your toe in Satanism. I feel like that's what the world was saying. They were like, "Knock that shit off." That's what they. There was a lot of controversy in that post. I was like, I know what Jen was doing. She was at a like school event. She saw this and she was like, "Shared the stories. This is interesting and clever." And then the consensus they were so mad they were like it doesn't work well it doesn't work if you haven't had your birthday yet this year but if that's too heavy that's too heavy of a math lift but kristen do you get it this is what it said the year you were born plus your age equals 2023 quite honestly i'm like she still doesn't get it casey do you get it So it'll work next year, too. Who cares? I don't understand what we're doing. Because. Why are we doing math? Oh, my gosh. It got, because it's a little trick that gets you. When you see it on paper, you'll go, well, fucking yeah, of course it does. It's your well, age isn't that plus- how it always is? Your age in the thing yeah. always equals the year you're in? Yeah, but they made it sound like <laughs> it was only 2023. They, this meme made it sound like it. it's crazy. It will only happen this year like this, which is true because next year it'll be 2024. But you see how it got me? I was like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that worked. Whoa, because I hadn't done the math I think on. Timu and weird voodoo math got you all in well, you think, span of 30 you minutes. It's been a the, week. You think that's the devil's work? He sent me these uh, foam inserts that guys can put in their swim trunks to make their peepees look bigger. <laughs> They're like sponge. Bro. I'll show them to you. You will die laughing. Go. It is the weirdest thing, but you're like, yeah, kind of. Here's the thing, and maybe I am not normal on this, but I will never be at a pool and, and be able to see – the outline of any man's wiener and be like, you're not going well, to the right hot. Par- you're not going I to the right parties. I don't want to see that. That does not really, sure, maybe, maybe some abs and some pectoral muscles or a strong leg. But honestly, I, I feel like I'm being, it's, it's the, indecent. Well, I guys in a, <laughs> guys in a speedo and you're like, well, he's uh, Jewish I, and he's oh about God. two and a half inches wide. I can tell. We've all been there. Haven't we? Haven't we? I'm um, Trey. Of, Trey, are you Jewish? We're fucked. I'm sorry. No. Doesn't everybody who's Jewish get circumcised? We'll take this out. 
<laughs> we will not take this out. We will absolutely keep this. I think that is true, though, yes, right? It's, it is. You it's, go to a Brit. Yes. Okay. All but right. if you are a reasonable person, you get circumcised. Only if you date a British dude and you find out later that his wiener isn't broken, it's absolutely just uncircumcised. Well, that's now we're getting then controversial because like, all these moms will be like, "That's genital mutilation." When you do, like, it's you guys. You, it's hard to please a bunch of moms. Anyways, cheers. We're having cocktails today because it's been that kind of day. Cheers. Cheers, moms. That was a snort. I don't even remember what we're going to talk Poor about Casey. today. Casey's like, there's just not enough editing notes. She's uh, typing furiously away at things that might get us, what, sued or disliked strongly. Yeah. So. Uh, listen. But we'll leave most of them, fucking honestly, Joe Rogan can exist in the world, so can we. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. He called you. the fucking Barbie movie a little movie about dolls. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Joe Rogan? You can't just say the thing. You can't just say that this spectacular movie made a billion dollars into anybody in business. A billion dollars is fucking boner town. But you can't like give props to this movie that maybe doesn't speak to you, but certainly speaks to, I don't know, 60% of the planet that are female. Sure. God I forbid you can just say... Hey, this was a spectacular movie. It well, made a ton of money. I'm going to put on your pink glasses to I'm say I'm annoyed. This. You guys, you can uh, listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. You can watch this full thing on the YouTube. Yeah. You can follow us on all the socials. Would you please like, follow, review, subscribe, Whatever download? Whatever the shit that your kids are doing to the people they watch, put on makeup. Yeah, do, to do that to us because that would help us and the advertisers will think we're <laughs> legit. Right? Okay. So- Here's what I was going to say. If you okay. don't like Barbie, it just challenges your worldview and it means you're too lazy to change. That is what I think. Right. And, and you I don't stand have to, by it. You don't have to love the there you can have you can have thoughts about Barbie on every level, but if you can't step away and say, I can collectively see that this movie means a lot to a lot of people, yeah. I think that you're being insensitive and you're not growing anymore. I agree with that. Yeah. I think like Barbie, it was just I've met women that are like, I didn't like it. And I was like, that's fair, but if you're still thinking about it, it did something to you. Joe Rogan, you know what I would love is for you to have Jen and I on your podcast. Not because we're going to get in a tussle, but just because I don't think you ever would. I think you like to talk <laughs> into the ether for three to four hours at people who only are like you. But wouldn't mm. it be interesting for you to actually put that three to four hours that you do building your voice into actually talking to somebody that might have alternate ideas? Just putting it out there. No, I don't Fuck. Think How so. many have I had? I know. You know what? We're gonna talk about. Oh God. We're what? gonna. Well, we our our whole thing. Okay. I want to talk about dads. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. We ended our tour. We ended our tour. We have a couple shows left in November. You can go to my mom so hard. Yep. In the uh, the middle north of the country. Yes, and I have to say. I'm really in love with my husband right now. I, I'm feeling very grateful to That's him and appreciative. So I don't don't go don't make now it a I thing. Now I turned you off. Yep. Okay, sorry. And, and you know what? He, so can he? So fast. I just love love. Um, we're we're very in love right now, mostly because we got back from the road and things have changed. And Jen and I are doing a lot on our own right now, which is a big. It's a big lift. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> And it also happened to coincide with the time we were like, let's give ourselves a couple weeks to recover from, from the, the tour, tour, get our feet not on the ground, at all. like get our, our no, houses in order again. No School no. starting. Yeah. We're gonna we're no. gonna give ourselves no. a break. We've been touring for three months. Nope. So we it's okay. We're we're tough and we're we're good at it. But uh we got back and we started in and my husband, who happens to have a little bit of time right now, was like, Let me help you. And I was like, I just felt very supported and very loved. With that being said. I would just like to say that I'm very much, I am having a very objective observation that my husband, as the dad, is so popular that it pisses me off. Okay. With the kids, you mean? or With the kids. Oh, God. And I thought I you were feel... going to say with the ladies at school, and I would say that that's too. justified. I feel like I'm the Don't wind beneath charming his then, wings. too. It's my husband does that, too. He's like, Mr. Charming, funny guy with all the moms at school. And I'm like, yeah, you didn't see him, like, kick our garbage can yeah. down the street because it – they broke the top of the bin, you know? Or like, repeat a story that I'm like, I've heard this one 18 times. I'm sitting there with my arms folded and all the women are, and the men that he's entertaining are like, ooh, and I'm like, it's. 
my husband will see not downright funny. creepy shit to the moms at school. And I have to say. I like, apologize. No, he no, has a dry sense of humor. No, he'll tell like a filthy story or something. And I'm like, you need to know your audience. The, you got to act like you're an upright standing citizen amongst other parents. I, unless you're having cocktails at your own house. But if you're at the school. My husband. I agree with that. And we might not be able to put this in here either. But I would just <laughs> like to say that my husband. We have this lovely set of neighbors who are a gay couple, and these are very dear friends. And my husband is very, very comfortable with sort of asking personal questions. And I'm like, hey, Colin, um, our lesbian friends don't probably want to, like, give you details about their first gay experience, even though you fully asked it. And hey. we were happy to hear the answer, but... <laughs> hey, nothing suspicious about what I'm doing. No spank bank fodder going into the old ticker right here. Just doing a study of uh, the lesbian dating scene out of pure scientific curiosity. I had to say, I go, hey, husband, maybe they don't want to answer this question. And then, of course, like right on the heels of me saying that, both lesbians are like, no, 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 we're happy to. We're happy to talk about it. I'm like... Okay, well, you're now encouraging him. Like, this guy's just getting like, Kristen's carte like, well, blanche. I'm going to act like I'm going to clean the kitchen while you guys have this conversation <laughs> and then just whoa, keep, <laughs> keep falling over the counter towards you. That's all. I'm going to do the polite thing and act like I'm scrubbing this one area for the next 25 minutes. At the, at the same time, I was wearing like cargo pants and my my tank top and a flannel and both of those women were like, where have you been? And I was like, Ben to Oregon, if you must ask. They were like, clearly he just loves lesbians. (laughs) Clearly (laughs) he has a- He's lesbian friendly since he's married to one. That's great. Uh, So yeah. My husband, this is the one thing I was going to say. We're at this, well, it wasn't like a school, it wasn't on school grounds, but it was like this community festival that the school had a thing at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like we do unity fair and you guys do community fair. I don't know why he decides to tell all these moms that I see like kind of every day about how people in his town were swingers and had like key parties. And I yelled at him in front of everybody, go, Brett, now everybody's just going to think you're Thrown out the feelers to see who's creeped out and who's comfortable with the idea. Who in? Like, I know. Did you look at that? No. I, was they were all solidly a no. They were like. Were they? Mm. There was no one like looking around like, mm, what's he doing? <laughs> like laughing too yeah, much. Like, I'm sorry. Here's my keys. Oops. <laughs> they were like, who else besides you guys might be involved in the key party? Like, can you show us pictures of your yeah, neighbors? Can we see what you got going on? Because if it's Dale from next door, I'm not doing it. You come up to the school smelling badly a lot. So Maybe it's I am a guy not... wearing a fake prosthetic thing in his pants, and that's false advertising. There, yeah, you know that. You know, you <laughs> can't. <laughs> we, that's a horrible <laughs> miss sale to wear to a swingers party. Just come as you are, you guys. I would be the worst at a key party because I literally lose my keys all the time. They'd be like, uh, you came to a key party with no keys. This feels like yeah. you kind of knew what you were getting at. No. And I'd be like, no, no, no. Oh, I think boy. I left my keys in your I've been yard. at a party with Kristen where she went around going, and, anybody see some keys? And they're like, it's not that kind of party, lady. Just relax. You've had a lot to drink, okay? I would not get my keys. This is a, a, if I was at a key party, I would get an Uber, but I still got to get in my house. Yeah, what do we for, do now with Ubers? What do we do at key parties when there's Ubers now? I think everybody's like, we you just don't want to be gross about it. No, like, I think. No, they're still Is gross. that what it is? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Why do you throw your keys in? Because you I never grab a random set of night? kees and then that's who you. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's all about safety, Kristen. Wait, uh, is that? You throw your keys in a bin and you pull out a random set of keys and then that's who you... That start. is not how you do yeah, it. Yeah, it is, right? I'll look Wait, it up, what? Kristen. So it would be like... You, Wait. You, you pick up the, uh, the... I just thought it was anybody that was into it. You put your keys in a bowl for safety. Like, no, you don't want anybody driving home later. You really thought that? I, I, I don't Kristen? think I thought... I don't think I knew... Okay, so what it Wait, is? So you have to you have to get with the person that you draw a key. Yeah, you can't just you be like I've been eyeballing swap, you since you couple soccer. Swap. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No, it's it's you know what it's better is just if you did like pulse draw straws. I would rather play Uno. 
Yeah, I'm up, I'm way more up for a trivia or party. Or charades. Either uh, way. Honestly, running charades is highly underrated. It's, I don't know why everything has to get sexy. Honestly, uh, that's a yeah, much I think the expectation time. that I have to like You know what I what? Find I have sexy? to wear a clean bra. Somebody who's really good at trivia. I'd rather I do. This is the honest to God truth. I would rather be at a party where everybody has too many drinks and somebody like randomly decides to jump in a pool and that is my idea of sexy. Uh, yeah. Clingy clothes, unexpected fun, spontaneous acts. I don't want it to go any further than that. I uh, hate to break this to you. What? We are not cool. Oh. I think um, there is a whole world of things that happens on yachts. Do you and think? coastal cities that we just don't even know exists. Absolutely. I mean, you just Google what well, was the life nobody... of Ashton Kutcher before he got Hold married. On, that's in your 20s. I, I don't think I wore pants for four years. Well, some people... You think in our age group that there's people that are like, this is going to be a sexy party, so get a babysitter? What the hell? Then you go home and you're like, how did everything go? Here, like, can I Venmo you the money for the babysitter? Like, what? I don't, I don't know how people do that, and I hate to uh, disappoint anybody. Just, it's super boring. I would, for the next, like, mm, probably three or four years, go like, is this a cold sore? What is this? <laughs> What's going on? That's like, what I, I, I can't do it. I, I like, am so, like, will punish myself for anything, especially, I guess, that. <laughs> yes. Yes. If you swap, you're going to, you're going to get a sore on your hoo-ha. You don't come I out of that. I feel like, yes. I feel like, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm also just, I could probably take my sexy game up a notch. Colin goes like this. He was bugging me today because for many reasons, and that's fair to say in marriage. We, and he's like, this is on the heels of him bugging me for a while. He goes, and we have an anniversary coming up. And I go, ugh. And he goes, why do you have to say it like that? And I'm like, hey, man. I can tell by the sing song of your voice you're you've asking been for a blowjob. You're asking for a blowjob. And you yeah. know what? We've established a long time ago that I just like you to- married the wrong woman. You married the wrong woman. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you're into, then you- I put out regularly. Great. That's... Even when I'm not in the mood. So yeah. if I'm not going and running into- BJ Central, everybody needs to give me a break. No. They're I'm, uncomfortable that's... and I do them. I want something out of it. Here's what we we're going to talk about. Da How okay. dads get Dad, an so easier. Here's the thing. The thing that I'm bugged with, and I can't articulate generally speaking, and I don't know if you feel like this, but I feel like oftentimes, like my husband, if all things are equal, he wins. And even if all things are less, he wins. Yes. Popularity wise. Like he just doesn't care about the same things that I care about. But if I don't care about them, nobody cares about them. Yes. So I'm always the heavy. Like, I, and I honestly am annoyed that he's coming in in first place because I'm like, oh, who do you think organized the vacation? But then I'm a psycho on the vacation because he didn't get the app that makes things run smoothly at Disney. So then I'm like, hey, we're I love golfing. I love to golf. Let's go golf. My kids both bitch and moan about golfing in the beginning. And so did Colin. He was not a big golfer. Guess who's a big golfer now? My son and my husband who go together. They don't even invite me anymore. Mm -hmm. So then when I go... I'm high strung and no fun because I don't think Finn is following the manners of being a good golfer. I'm not any fun. Everything's terrible. Well. I just don't think it's fair that he is more popular than me because I'm a good time. I just don't get to be a good time in front of my kids. I, I think your kids see the difference. I do. They don't. D look. They would pick him in a divorce no, they would not. Yes, they would. Dads are always good time Johnny. They make them laugh. Like, I'm not a tickler. I'm not a wrestler. I don't want to do it. And quite frankly, everybody outweighs me at this point. Like, I can't. I'm done. I'm out. I get injured right away because they pull no punches, literally. Like, I will get my glasses broken. I would like to get in a wrestling match, but I'm busy freaking cleaning the kitchen. Well, that's he. So he's really funny, has like ongoing bits with them and stuff like that. And, um, I don't do that, but I do know that they see, like, what I do and the different, like, benefits of what I do. I'm an administrator. 
That's what they think of. They know my position is necessary, but they don't think it's fun. And that sucks. But they... They're not, you don't feel appreciated right now. No, not at all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Kidding not at fast. all. Yeah. Not at all. My my dog, not at all. And that's, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's the position. But what I said to my husband was, I was like, look. And I was being very like, I go, hey, man, I'm not blaming you. I just want you to recognize, like, in this dynamic, like, you're winning just simply by being dad. And then he's like, you've always got to make it a gender thing. And I'm like, Hold on, sir. Hold I'm sorry. On. That's what it's dudes. a mom thing. It is not a gender thing. And you know what, sir? Those exist as well. I was going to say that is a thing that people say when they don't, don't want to admit that something is a tr- is a truth. But let me tell you why. I do think this is is that like we uh, like women that were brought up with the expectation that you know we're going to be a mother someday unless we decide that we're not going to be and, and so travel. there is so much like value put on like your existence which is why it's so hard for some women to admit like they don't want to have kids cuz then people like shame them They're or like, make them what are you what else in life is there for, for you, you if you besides don't besides Endless money, a strong savings account, and any color sofa you want. You just vacationing wherever, sleeping with carpet, whoever you want, whenever you want. I'm not saying key that's parties, the goal. Key any, parties. You're down for a key party at any time in your life. I'm and just saying. Probably that, have really nice car. I'm just saying that, like, my husband, if he fails at a parenting thing, he does not care, let alone notice that that and happens. And it doesn't have residual It does not effect. weigh on him. I will lose sleep. I will beat myself up for days. I will check myself for cold sores for years. Yep. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. And yeah. I still do because there's a bar back. <laughs> we all real, in our 20s as we but, – But I'll beat myself up forever about something. Like we had a – my husband does lunches. Gets He does breakfast – does all the morning stuff. I do all the like yeah. afternoon stuff. Unless we both have something going on, like we we switch it up, whatever. So we went to camp this summer and the camp instructor said, what is this? This isn't lunch. This is a snack. These are all snacks. And I was like, okay, me, that would feel like a big kick. That would really. Yeah, but really, you need to point your eyeballs at my husband who made this lunch. And and it hasn't affected how he does. And he's not losing any sleep over no, it. No, not, not. what I bet he doesn't even remember her saying that whatsoever. Yeah. But it is like cemented in my brain. I'm going to like feel like a shitty parent if if she, my kid my tells. My husband's lunches are disgusting. <laughs> I take such great pride in lunches. They, I'm surprised he doesn't just you throw do. baked beans you, into a goddamn can and put it in the – and, like, put a white claw to boot. <laughs> yeah. He's like – I'm like, like this a is garbage. In there. Like, I, I'm upset by this. Like, there's no order. It doesn't look – and I take such pride in it. And then I'm like, does anybody care or notice? So, okay, we do not have a perfect marriage, not by a long shot. But we are – he is, like – my best friend and we do we're very similar we i think we're two very similar people so we will like fire at each other a little bit in front of the kids it's not a full blown out fight but there's like you know discontent if you will is that a word and we go yeah. so we're at the table and um i i go colin there this is you may like he he was supposed to make dinner because i was getting eleanor and i was, and i called him and or texted him i said hey look we're coming back from soccer you're going to have to ha- do dinner because we yeah. we have no time. And we get back, and I'm telling you, it was ramen. It, it Imagine all of the bad food you could put together in a food group. That was what he served. And I go, babe, there's not like a vegetable that we can have. And my kids were like, oh, way to be critical. And I'm like, no, no, that's once on again, my list of requirements. Dad really comes in. Like, you got, I don't, I don't ever remember. In the reverse, well, first of all, because my husband wouldn't, he'd be like, this is the greatest high-sodium dinner we could have. My husband would not ask for a vegetable. He'd be pissed that there is a vegetable. So he's just basically another 12-year-old. you got to lay the healthy groundwork and let him go all ramen in college. Like, you you can't do it when they're young, when their brain is forming. you got to throw in fruit and vegetables. I'm like... I I don't know. I I, I just feel like husbands in general... Here's something. I think we've said this before, but... When we were on the road, nothing illuminated what we're talking about more. And when we're on the road, we are very forgiving because we are very grateful. 
it is very hard for our husbands. We've always said that. No, it's it's hard when you're when anybody's out of town. And like if, right. if you're a mom husbands. and your husband's out of town a lot, it's not easy. We've always I, said it. It's like whenever you're solo parenting, you're getting your ass kicked. There's I don't know how these I don't know how single parents do it. I don't know how parents do it where like, you know, our husbands, when we're on the road, they deal with it. We come back in, we're we transition back in with delicate grace and kindness yeah. because we know we should be patient. Uh, but when we get back, you know, we, we give them so much grace. They have to tell us how hard it was. It's fine. A lot of telling us, a lot, how, a lot hard telling us how hard it is. You don't know how hard this is. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, first day my husband goes out of town on his golf trip, I get a lacrosse ball through a window. Yeah. I, uh, drop a wine bottle. My, uh, 60 year old doorbell started lighting the house on fire. So I had to have yep. a electrician come. We had two new uh, soccer teams that we had to find on a field of 400 kids. I know that field. I When I get home from that field, my dog, the new lab, has torn through two brand new bottles of liquid whiteout, and that is hard to get out of hardwood floors. Or teeth. My, I, my God. Best smile my, on a lab you've ever seen, you my guys. My kids couldn't even look me in the eye. They were, like, so scared of how mad they saw it on the <clears> on the. And I'm outside bringing in all the garbage cans and stuff like that, and one of them comes outside and is like, you got to get in here. There's a big mess. And I was like, I'm going to be in right after I count to 10 slowly. See, you're really nice. I would have been like, you know what? You're big enough that you can help clean the mess. They did. They were trying. I've never seen them try so hard to clean because I think they could tell I was about like, to lose my mind. it's just enough. Because it was 108 whatever yesterday, oh. and I'm walking up and down this soccer field trying to find the – to two complaining people, and I was like – I don't get to play soccer. I, I, I We know, just get to sit here and die. I just get to sit here and die in the heat and listen to you complain and make sure that your water bottle's unscrewed at the second you run up to me, okay? But what, please, please stop complaining. Yeah, but I do think, again, back to dads, that's even a thing. They roll into practice. They're like, they don't care. They're like, uh, I don't know how many times Eleanor has played soccer with just shin guards, no socks. And I go... Can we just, that did happen last night. Can we please night. just put regular, like, the the bar is so low when I leave. So then I come back, and I'm just trying to push it back up. I'm like. It's survival. It's survival, and, and, and it's fine. But I am annoyed that, like, dads get this sort of, like, they, they start on third, and they think it, they hit a triple. I'm like, there's a cool. I remember my mom, I was like, oh, my mom's always such a drag. And my dad's fun. But now when I think back, like, there were, this is very much from being a Gen Xer, like, many a nights my dad was at the old Legion Club having a cold one when my mom was with three babies trying to make dinner and worked a full-time job. And I was like, you know, no wonder she was salty. But, yeah. you know, dad would come in probably a little loose from, like, Hey, I just worked my car dealer job and I went and had a couple beers. And now I'm like cool. And and I there's very few um dinners that I remember like with my with my dad being there. It was such a different time. Like men now, dads now are so involved. And ironically so, their 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 lightheartedness like makes them even cooler. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. They're Pisses me off. I know they're they're really good time. Like, okay, so soccer's my husband's thing. He played it all growing up. Yeah. Like he literally has scars on his forehead where people's teeth went into his head. He loved soccer. It's then, fun. Because he was he was a good kicker. He was a kicker in college. That's what he who he's golfing with right now is guys that he played with. Like he loves soccer and he wants the kids to play a team sport. Truth, I was not allowed to play sports. My mom thought sports were unladylike. Hi, Barbie. I was not allowed to play sports, and I would beg every season to play either softball or soccer. My so, parents were like, whatever sport she'll do, we will be on board with yeah, because know. she won't stop It would have gotten me out of the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I don't know anything about soccer. I know nothing about soccer. Sometimes I confuse volleyballs and soccer balls if they're painted differently That's than I'm fair. used to. That's so fair. I find it confusing. I didn't know they came in different sizes. I didn't know that That's they were fair. a different kind of shoe. You didn't know that balls come in different sizes. Fair. Because they should only be one size. They, which is mid. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want them. Wow, I didn't know you were going to go there. 
I'm just saying you didn't know about different sized balls. That's I don't believe you, but I, it's fine. Well, soccer, I believe you're actually quite experienced when it comes to different balls size balls. And volleyball are the only balls I can't tell apart. You yeah, there's so. a lot of other balls that she's. You put a ball in front of her, she's gonna she's gonna know that how much like what do you call it when you have the the weight of the air inside of the ball? There's like a way that you measure that. You would be able to call that air from, pressure. I don't know. There's like a technical pressure term. of a ball. <laughs> pressure of a ball. Can, sir, you'd your be able ball to... <laughs> pressure is very high. I can tell by your speedo <laughs> and the fake. You'd be able to call a fake prosthetic wiener wiener so topper. So easy. Based on your ball size, I know that is not accurate. I don't know. Some kind God, of a what's weird happening combo, with right? This is the I first time we podcasted with wine. This is the problem. <laughs> Casey's like, it's a runaway train. Oh dear God! But here's the deal. Like me going to soccer. Besides, it's the opposite of fun. I don't know what's happening. Practice, I, soccer practice. And even in games, I cheer for the wrong thing. So I just cheer for everybody. I just clap and I'm like, good try, it, whether it's for the other team or not. And then I look at people like, whoa, what? Shouldn't we, their kids, let's Man, cheer for everybody. very different. I don't know what's going on. It is, it is like if I said, Kristen, I'm going to put you in a microwave for 45 minutes and make you watch a tutorial on a, oh god on like rocket propulsion okay and like not that it's that complex i just don't know anything about it i don't know anything about it i am the it. opposite i just I received don't an do email it. that said no yelling at the refs on this game on you saturday did oh it's a big one it's a big one there's something happened well cuz a lot of the refs exactly are- directed at me but i was like if i can't yell at my ref can i yell at the, my husband can we have a that's fair. Can we Nobody have an outward, outward conversation that's going to get too loud just because it's the Irish contingent. Like, we, uh, we're we just loud people. But I, I do like, I love, I love going to soccer. I don't like going to the practices. No, I, I don't. You like There's, going to the games, you're saying? I do. But, you know, that's me. I, I am a, like, again, why I should be more popular with my children is I do like going to sporting events. Yeah. I like going to sporting events. I like wearing sports. You know me. One of our first videos, I was wearing a freaking Rams t-shirt, not ironically. I, I like wearing sporting. Well, if- I let my kids buy Crocs for the first time. My husband was anti-Crocs, and I told them, let I told him, let them buy Crocs. Let them buy Crocs. And then I bought Crocs so that they would like me more. No one Didn't work. cares. Didn't work. That's sh- They're popular at Christmas because they can play the piano. And that is because of me. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Reinforcing, like setting down, like I make all the rules. I'm like, yeah, I'm a rule maker. If, if I check your snack lunch <laughs> and you haven't finished it, you're not going to get a snack after school. You need to eat something yeah. healthy. Or like, eat what's in the- your lunchbox. We're not wasting can I tell you, I'm, I'm so also lame. very overwhelmed by the soccer games because, like, this weekend with Brit gone, it's just me, and they're going to be – they're at the exact same time, time. We've on done different that. fields. We've had and, like, that. What, I, I can't be anything but a crazy, sweaty person running between the fields, and I kind of need to be there for my daughter because – She's at, she's only eight. Yeah, and she lacks. Like sometimes I need to say, listen. She's I need to, younger. I need to look at her and say, listen. He's yeah. he's in charge. Like listen to the coach because she's of that age. Like Dash gets it. If he's making a choice to not listen, if but Delilah, if she's not listening, she's like, hey, our shoes are the same. It's, like she's just That's delighted by what's. Go- Come on, now. I know, I know, but I need to be there to like help. Her, then help you the say coach, that help the ref help everybody we've herd done that. cats we've we've done that and also i suck at like oh my god like i'll bring nothing to sit on and then i'm sitting on a wet field but generally the fields are like within walking distance but i will choose i'll choose a kid and, and basically it's who i like more at the time well i'm like well you know what You've established that you find things that I do irritating, so I'm not going to watch your game. I'm going to watch your sister's game. Just there you kidding. go. I don't really do that. I, will- I do say I did have the the best thing ever, ever happen where they played on the same field across from each other. Literally, to my right was a field, to my left was Lucky. a field. So I would just look right Papa and look left. It was literally the greatest. And I just kept going, look at me. Look at me right now. I'm killing it as a parent. I'm double parenting right now. You can't be everywhere all at once. And you just have to have like reasonable conversations. And and uh, the expectation is too high. I, That's what I think. I, I do. And I think the expectation is especially high for moms. On, 
<laughs> on I, all can counts. I just, can I just imitate Jen really quick? <laughs> this is what it's yep. she goes. I just think the expectation is too high for moms. <laughs> I was really slumping down in my chair, you guys, because I feel like I've gotten the shit kicked out of me in every direction this month, this week, this year, this it's since been, my kids were born. Listen, the the back to school of it all, the soccer of it all, the dad's getting like more like at some point I just want to like stop my feet and be like, this is some bullshit, man. This is some uneven, unfair bullshit. Yeah. And I want someone to like me best. No, I and and I don't know if they do this to my husband. I've never observed them doing this to my husband, but they do this to me. Like, you know, we were gone all these weekends in the summer, you know, yeah. trying to support our families. We support our families. And trying to support the moms. And my kids are like, no, you've you, uh, you've never seen Mario. You haven't seen the new Mario movie. I'm like, wait, but did I? No, we saw that with Dad. Oh, I no, I get that. We saw that with Dad. Here, you weren't there. Oh, I no. distinctly remember you not being there for that movie. I'm like, wh- why are you trying to oh, make yeah. me feel bad? Oh, no. Oh, no. I know that. Like, uh, I'm like, and you know, you don't want to go to your kids and go, hey, man, this thing that we do is really effing awesome, and you should think that we're effing awesome. But no, I don't say they that. Don't, they, so they wouldn't care we go anymore. to Subway, and my son, I go, I go, Finn, do you want one of those um, egg and bacon sandwiches that you get? And he goes, he like rolls his eyes like so upset. And he goes, I haven't liked those in months. <laughs> and I go, he goes, I go, okay, what do you want? He goes, spicy Italian. That's what I, I mean, that's what I like now. You and I'm like, oh, imbecile. so what you're saying is. I, I'm not around enough yeah, to know I get, I can that you like spicy Italian. No, what, that is not. That is not what I was saying. No, no, no. It is what you were saying. And now I'm. I have the eyebrows of my mother that look like I'm like the <laughs> the the queen in Sleeping Beauty, the mean yeah. one. And and I look stressed. And it is not fair. And I get it. And I'm like, how do I lo- how do I lighten that up? I'm like, should I laugh at that because it's so smug and rude? But the fact that he's calling out the things that I don't know that. Are his now favorites like? Oh, I you know I've been off of a egg lot's sandwiches. Changed Let's since change you were away, mom. I'm like okay, doing doing less noble things than war, mom. Like it's he, and he'll he'll say think he'll allude to things like no dad knows. Uh, okay, ask dad if he knows your shoe size. Yeah, like mom, like basically like yeah, but you know what? Colin does know. Because we communicate with each other and I'm like, hey man, you know, can you take Finn and get him, he's growing like a weed, can you buy him new shoes? And I'll say to him, like, what's his shoe size now? And Finn will give me a look like, hmm. like you should know. Well, my husband does uh, lunches and soccer. Let it, he has lunches and soccer. He, that is on his resume. He does lunches and soccer. And somebody out there is going to be like, he's a hero. Yeah, and, and here's my other favorite thing. They're like, wait, what was I gonna say? If he I've hears this, he's gonna be. So, I know, literally, a half a glass of wine, you guys. Because just because I need, I'm gonna to try to get nap. her to do some shooters. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to take a quick nap, and I'll be okay. But my my husband. Oh, this is my favorite argument with my husband. He'll go. I I say, you know, I'll just confide him and uh, confide in him, and I'll say, hey, you know, Finn is. I'm having a really tough time. He's being really like combative and argumentative and he talks back and I'm like and Colin will go well you know he does that with me too and I'm like no he doesn't no he does you don't think he does I don't think he does because for one reason and one reason only because my husband is big size advantage size advantage my husband is big therefore Finn is like simply by math if that guy decides to get mad it's and a pop me, situation I, I'm yeah. scared. But yeah. if that woman who I'm almost eyeball to eyeball with does, yeah. I probably can handle it. So he is so much different with me than he is with Colin. And what kills me is that Colin thinks we're both getting at the same level. And I'm like, no, no, no. I just would like to remind you that he talks differently to me than he talks to you. That's just yeah. not true. And I'm like, oh, so what you're saying is you're such a better parent. That's where our slippery oh. slope is. I'm like... That that you don't have these tussles with him. Meanwhile, Colin told me that Finn broke down his first day of school. Like, not broke down, but told him about his first day of school. Yeah. 
and was like, I love my teachers. This school is great. I'm blah, 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 blah. And so then I asked Finn, I go, hey, buddy. I've been waiting all day. Hey, buddy, how was your first day of school? It was great. But do you have any more details yeah. than that? Because I know you do because you sent them to your dad. Yeah. So many notes. Yeah. At least I have Eleanor. <laughs> and you know what? She's only being nice to me because she sees that everybody else isn't nice to me. Oh, that's man. what it is. She's just a kind, nice person that's tolerating me. Well, as long as you got one, right? I've and, got but, one. But, you know, in our house, it just flips. Like, one likes me one day, and then the other one, like, Delilah came out worse in the soccer scenario yesterday. Yeah. So Dash was like, I'm going to try and help you clean up the whiteout that our yeah, monster like, of a dog destroyed our like, home. Even life. I can tell this is going to be the the jumping off point. At one point, Eleanor saw me getting, like, my ass handed to me, and she just kind of went like... <laughs> And I was like, God, pats me on the shoulder. And I'm like, God bless America. I can't win this. Yeah. You guys, all I'm saying is moms are better. They are. Time for a mom box. Let's do it. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Kristen and Jen, I'm a Japanese mother of two who lives in Tokyo, (gasps) and I'm in love with you guys. I love listening to your podcast when I drive to work. Recently, I found out that newer cars have a video connected to the rearview mirror, and the driver can see inside the car behind you very clearly. Don't get one of those. You'll never look out the front, Kristen. I don't know. I realize that the people in the car in front of me probably think that I'm a crazy person because I'm laughing my head off and (laughs) nodding my head vigorously all to myself. So I began to pretend like I have kids in the backseat, which now, (laughs) as I say it out loud, probably makes me look even crazier. Anyway, a couple of days ago, you guys were in my dream. You had a show opening in Japan, and we wish we did so bad. Oh, my gosh. Come on, make it work. And, of course, I bought the VIP ticket to see you at Meet and Greet. I found out my childhood friend, who I haven't seen in more than 10 years, is your personal translator later. This is a very in-depth dream, you guys. Okay. Being the fan that I am, I get so jealous of my friend and I go up to you guys and I tell you how I'm a better translator. So you should hire me instead, completely ignoring my friend again, whom I haven't seen in more than 10 years. And then I I wake up, I suddenly miss my friend. So I got in touch with her and we're meeting up next month. So thank you for (laughs) appearing in my dream. Kristen and Jen, get moms together, even if the show is not in, not on your continent. Right? I, we're going. We're <clears throat> we're absolutely. Anyways, uh, the I hope to see you and your lovely show someday. That would make my dream come true. Take care with lots of love, Emmy. We love you. We're impressed. Yeah, we're gonna come can... to Japan. I oh mean, my god, that's like a dream. And we also, will. we'll try. Also, my brother was born there too. Was he really in Okinawa? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know Okinawa has a blue zone? I didn't know this, which is a area that has um, the most population over a hundred years old. Oh, really? And there's also one in Costa Rica. Look at me. Look at you, Casey. Did we podcast? I think so. I don't even know if we stayed on topic. It's fine.